Now, the one thing that Pi did not do yet is update the icon on the caged Augs. Because Augs, they have, they're like the creature themselves, the art has changed. So the actual, all of the icons for the modules have changed to reflect the new art style for the building, but not the icon for the caged Og. And what about like the ablazed? The, abla the ablazed Og was updated. Just, just not, just not that one. It's just most of the stuff was updated, just not that one thing. Anyway, so we I updated stuff. I had to do the update out here for the sugar, but otherwise every other location that had augs, Ave. Every other location that has augs that was manure has been removed. Uh, also, like just I think it's just all the main bus og is gone, com completely. You uh you missed me. You missed me take my wonderful crawdad and add 110 kills to my kill counter of losses of buildings as I just demolished, literally demolished the 110 line here and then a like see see demo demolished of these of these mark one og paddocks is now 140. So uh, I I did some I did some crawdad demolition. You might want to uh, have a look at that when it gets posted, or look at the vod on Twitch if you're interested in doing that. But yeah, we we did some uh, demolition derby with our with our crawdad today. Because I don't need Mark One uh, Og paddocks anymore they would all be mark twos anyway and i didn't i don't i just don't need that i am i am making i am making manure via muckmo which have already been updated to be bigger so yeah i didn't i didn't yeah this is the other section that got demolished so here's the other demolition zone was ulrich Ulrich, the the manure that was feeding the uh, the Relesia, the manure that was feeding the Relesia as part of the Ulrich build, I just siphoned off of the one that's literally across the street. But do you have cotton guts running yet? No. Nope. I need wood. I need wood. To continue with my plans and schemes. Also, how are you damaged? I don't, I don't, I don't even. Anyway. So, we now have things. And stuff. We now have biomass. We are now working officially on the wood. Have been working on the wood. What the hell did I just push there? Could you please go away? Thank you. I pushed a button that was tutorials, and it's like, no, I don't, I don't want that. Also, eh, I don't think I like this being that big of a window up in the middle of the thing. Can I still, like, pin stuff? I'm, I am apparently ineligible. <laughs> yeah, duh. Because I used uh, commands. Alright. Next. Next is technically the thingy here with the Mark II solid separator. The Mark, the singular Mark II solid separator. Which needs soil. I did not actually separate out the soil, did I? Nope. Of course not. Why would I? 
Why would I think to do that ahead of time? Okay, so how many? Mark two, two. Pull Mark two soil extractors. Giving me glorious soil. Gee, it would suck if that was the actual last water well that I had access to over here. Uh, where did I leave my vehicle? No water wells in there. How about in here? No more water wells in there. Oh, well. Sadness. I still forgot the electrolyzers anyway, so now I have to go back to get more water wells and electrolyzers. Yay. If I need more water wells out here. That is, that is a big if. Solid sap. Go, go, go. Do your thing. Um, just building with intent to scale. Just, just building that with the intent to eventually scale. Which thingy was this again? This one. I don't need four. Unless I'm going to stack the... The excess of stuff. Oh, hello. Hello, that's... It did that thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, it totally did that thing. What else uses limestone in this? Wait, what? This uses limestone. 0.78. This produces 0.87. Oh, boy. What thing did it do? Uh, so it's calculating the production from here, this 0.87, to feed back here on the creamy latex. So I have to now take the excess limestone out of here instead of just sho shoving it all easily up into this moss uh, and feed some of it into the creamy latex and set up the like splitter prioritization of inputs and all that good stuff. Basically it's just more complex than I was expecting it to be. Slash wanting it to be. Excuse me, that's the one. Yep. And then this one is the, uh... Limestone, biomass, coarse fraction. Sand, right. Yes. Sand. Uh, I don't need that paste. Thanks. No, I'm whining about... Hell mod incorporating more complexity than I had wanted. I could simply scale bigger. Like, I could simply add a second machine here outputting outputting stuff. I could have a second machine here. And not have to worry about the splitter prioritization of stuff, because I will always have enough to produce the biomass here. <laughs> and I have to be in Matrix Solver. And it's already done the uh, the percentage stuffs, so if I change back to Algebraic, it's just going to keep the percentage stuffs, so... Uh, yeah. Anyway... This is technically going to produce more limestone than I need. 
this is going to this is going to produce 0.87 limestone, which is more than 0.78. Uh, it's actually going to produce probably more than that. It's going to produce the full amount that the machine produces, so it's going to produce one limestone per second. Well, up to ten soil, but yeah, it's it's, it's definitely oh, it's it's definitely going to produce one limestone per second. So I'd rather avoid excess limestone here. Have a uh, have this output priority set and then void that line right and while i'm at it we're going to do a few things uh we're going to do that to the sand as well and we'll, we're going to have that go out all on the same line. The biomass shouldn't be produced in excess here. But I think it's still ultimately going to end up being produced in excess here. So I do have to deal with some small amount excess. Uh... This is going to give me a whole one and a half per second of the biomass. So what I need to do when I combine this with the biomass line is be like, hey, always, always give me this biomass first. We. So, uh, so that's the underground distance now. That's the underground length. It's pretty neat. Uh, the main issue is I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm very certain that the vanilla blue belt has also changed. Uh, what is even the name of the belt? Express. Uh, so the Express underground belt, I actually need to be able to hover over it. Uh, it is that one. It is precisely 30. 30. How did you end up not being able to make the Pi Bot 1, but be able to make the Pi Bot 2? When did they get the reach bonus? Uh, today. This update set, I would imagine. This very set of updates from today increased the underground lengths on the undergrounds. Uh, so you're looking at the it's the pi logistics robot, which is here. Uh, so the pi logistics robot. One, the cargo Pinobot Mark One is unlocked at Basic Electronics, but you are saying that you managed to get this coal processing three tech that unlocks the cargo the the Pi Logistic Robot Two without somehow already having basic electronics? Well, I guess technically that can happen unless Pi Electronics is required for any of these, but it should tell me that. Yeah, so make sure that you pick up basic electronics. How you have blue science 
without basic electronics, uh, fat brain? Did you fat brain blue science and pick up coal processing early? That would explain, most likely, how that could have occurred. Yeah, basic electronics, that's that's the one that you need to craft the Logi Robots 1 that you need to make the Logi Robots 2. Okay, that... And then this is the course fraction, of course, that is required. That I need going forward. And then somewhere out here, we're going to have the ash coming down. Because, hey, the ash exists, and it will uh, need to get used at some point. Hello, ash. Nice, nice to see the ash. Or running a busted set of mods. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right, moving right along, we've got the s moss build next. Uh, yes, the moss, 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 moss will be next. That will consume all of the biomass, all of it going in. We need how many uh, CO2s? Two high-pressure furnaces making CO2. That consumes all of biomass. Okay. Two high-pressure furnaces, huh? I have a plan! So, two high-pressure furnaces can consume up to 15 per second of biomass. Which, uh, yeah. So I mentioned about, like, slightly overproducing here. You don't have basic electronics research at all. Well... I mean, I'm assuming that you're running the entire pie suite, A. So that's that's the first step is you you need to have pie high tech, but then how would you have the Mark II bot without pie high tech? That would be oh, that gets added in uh, something. It looks like you've got pie. It's Modified by pH, starts with raw ores. Yeah, it's like oh, I'm assuming I'm assuming you're running the full pie suite. For one, if if you're if you're having problems and you're not running the full pie suite, run the full pie suite. Uh, it the it's not designed exactly to be fully functional without everything. It's it supposed to be modular, but we all know it's actually not modular, and problems end up happening when you aren't running everything. There are some problems. You have to point them out, by the way, just on the community dis the community discord. <laughs> or on the Pi forums. And it really all depends on what the mod setup is. Really all depends on what the mod setup is that you're running. If you're missing basic electronics. So, basic electronics should be done. It exists in the base mod. So... Basic electronics exists in Factorio itself. So you are probably running 
a mod that is getting rid of the basic electronics tech for some reason. Otherwise, it gets modified by Pi High Tech, Pi Industry, Pi High Tech again, Pi Raw Ores, Pi Petroleum Handling, and then Pi Alien Life for the items that get tacked on and added into basic electronics uh, as a tech. But I see here that because it has base mod there, it exists in the base game. You run the latest version of full Pi Suite except for High Tech and Alien Life. You, by definition, do not have the full Pi Suite <laughs> if you do not have High Tech. So that's why you're missing stuff is you, you don't have High Tech. You need, you need High Tech and you need, uh, well, you don't necessarily need Alien Life, but you're not running the full Pi Suite unless you have Alien Life. So, and high tech. There, there's the answer. We've we have a, we have attained the answer. So the the robots don't exist for the level ones. If you are not running high tech, yet the Mark Twos exist. If you're not running high tech. So, if anything, the bug that you have found is that Mark II Logibots exist as an item when not running Pi High Tech. Ta-da! There's your bug. The bug isn't that you're missing the level 1 Logibots. The bug is that you have the Mark II Logibots. That is the bug, I would imagine. because I'm pretty sure you're not actually supposed to have those bots without running Pi High Tech. Pretty sure. They're, they're supposed to only exist with High Tech. At least the Mark 1s are only in existence if you have Pi High Tech. Maybe. This says Pi Industry, so it... Uh, it that the Mark 1s were created in industry and then modified by handling, raw ores, and then handling again. And I don't know if any of this is having any checks to see if you're running high tech. Because then high tech itself has to... Something, one of those mods has to actually put this icon in the high tech thingy, so... This is this is the problem that the Pi Suite has is that there's so many stupid things with implementation on occasion. You have mods modifying the other sections of the mods if those mods are operating or not operating it does something else and then bleh, it gets really complex really fast. And this is why I, I really would not ever want to delve too deeply into the actual code for the Pi Suite. I can under I can read it, but I wouldn't want to code it or do anything with the code of it. Uh, so before all that, I was I was talking about the fact that this uses up to 15 per second of the biomass, and I had this beautiful idea. I had I had a a stroke of genius, if you can, if if you want to call it that, uh, in that we can just overflow valve void. We can just overflow valve void the excess, some excess CO two, and this will constantly flow, and I will always have a source of the. Uh, of the course fraction. Done. Donezo. Uh, actually, I think we need more than that. I think four, four, four is four okay? For voiding nine something? 1.5 plus whatever six produce? I don't know. Hey, we've almost got Yotoi stage three. 
in our last two minutes of the stream for the day. Uh, so that'll be that'll be that, I guess, for the CO2, and then just add the moss. Two whole moss buildings. I said two whole moss buildings. Doing that recipe. Oh, so now we great. That's that's fat that's fantastic. Now now we need to get the uh the the cake. Now we need cake to complete the pie suite. We we officially need cake to finish the pie suite. Not the type of cake I'm sure most people think about when they think of the word cake. No, no. Wait, I am referring to uranium cake. Very, very highly deadly stuff. I am, I am referring to the yellow cake. Made out of 83% enriched uranium. That is the cake. For Space Science Pack. Yay! Yay! Great. Yeah, it's good with chocolate. Well, uh, I can argue that having yellow cake be added to Space Science is a good thing in that it now forces people to it, it it now requires completing the uranium processing chain. There's there's the logic. We are now required to complete the uranium processing chain to beat the pie suite. That's all that means. Uh, previously, you could stop at uh seventy percent uh uranium powder slash 70% uranium fluid and not have to go all the way up to 83%, which is the uh, stuff that's unlocked at utility science. Uh, the, the Like, the last bit that gets unlocked there that... Uh, it's not too much additional stuff. It is an ammonia sink, but the... Uh, so it's it's ammonia, soda, soda ash is free, as is sand... Uh, from 79, 79, industrial solvent, that's the, that's, that's the expenditure, really. Uh, uh, some filtration from 73, some steel from 70. And 70 is what you had to get the enriched powder, so, you know, just a, a little bit extra complexity to an already fantastic uranium processing chain look at these percentages each of these is a different each of these four things is a different fluid of uranium it's great anyway look definitely looking forward to doing the more advanced uranium processing uh we've placed down the uh moss that's that's about it just it's been placed it's it's been placed down and needs power and all that we're we're working on the wood build still but it is now that time uh what did we get done today uh managed to uh repair and Im slash improve change update we have updated our augs and updated the manure slash removed every single place that Augs were making manure and replaced it with our manure factory manure from Muckmo. So all of our manure is now sourced from Muckmo. All of our uh, bone meal is now sourced from Ulrich. And the cage dogs, the only cage dogs I'm making are here outside of what I need to make bones up here. Yay! We did we did the thing. We did it. And then came down here to do the logistics to 
produce the ash and then begin work on the what will uh, actually be the actual wood build going forward. Is this the new mod from Pyanodon? It is the most recent mod from Pyanodon, but you have reached at me at the very last second of this stream. Wouldn't it be great if Yellow Coke would actually be good for power? Yeah, maybe. Thank you for the follow. I will, of course, uh, be back on uh, Sunday. Sunday is the next stream day. Uh, but Pi Alien Life is the most recent addition to the Pi Suite. I have been, I have been doing a bit of work. I have a bit of a base so far. Uh, with Pi Alien Life, that's say hello to the new scale of things. I am at Chemical Science Blue, Blue Science, plus Pi Science, the new science pack that gets added. But yeah, we're uh, we're a, a little ways. We're past Circuit Twos. At at this point, uh, that's I've got I've got a base so far. We're we're making wood right now. Uh, so with that. I would like to thank you all for watching. If you're watching the VODs on YouTube, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, head on over to twitch.tv slash takushobo to leave a follow to be notified when I go live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash pyanodon. And to myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. I will, of course, be back on Sunday where we will absolutely be finishing this wood build unless things massively change. Which, let's face it, every single Sunday, things massively change. So, yeah. Expect change. But either way, I will hope to see you all then.